Everyone fears losing their mind. Disease, loneliness, trauma, prolonged pressure, time. There are countless ways our minds can meet oblivion long before our bodies. So we invent routines that can hopefully carry us from and back to our pillows intact. Slicing up the days into chunks that can be more easily digested. We toil away and pretend it gives us purpose, supporting lives we hope are stable and relieve ourselves with smaller, more manageable oblivions. When we become dissatisfied with the process, we try to rebalance our needs. Less dairy, more gym, less booze, more weed, less gym, more dairy, etc. But the balancing act never ends. The cycle never stops. Sanity is a construct, an artificial invention of humanity. And like all constructs from the mightiest skyscraper to a Lego house, it must be maintained. When your maintenance fails and the edifice crumbles, you will realize that the creeping dark comes not from without, but within. Sanity was always the unnatural state. Sanity was the invader. At the end of that long entropic road, when all your humanity and sense is withered away, only the madness remains. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dread X Collection. Holy crap, what an intro, that was awesome. So this is a collection of 10 horror games, full-fledged games that were made for this project. And they're, it's by a bunch of devs that I've been following for a very long time. Like, uh, we have the Scythe dev team. Uh, we have David Szyman Szymanski. I hope I'm saying that right. Hey, buddy. Uh, he did Dusk and Finger Bones and all those games. Uh, let's see. Who are you? I don't know them. Uh, maybe I do. Then there's Airdorf. Uh, here's Torpal Dork, Torpal Duke, yeah. Uh, so I'm super excited to check out these games, and they all have a collect collected like narrative theme that they go with. They're all inspired by PT, so it's but it's not going to be like a bunch of like hallways over and over. It's kind of like the idea and concept of PT. So I'm really excited for it. And one more thing I want to point out is that uh, two dollars from every copy sold uh, goes to Doctors Without Borders. So not only is this a collection of Hopefully awesome horror games, but actually goes to a good cause. Wow! <laughs> like, that's awesome. It officially comes out on the 26th, I believe. Uh, links in the description. You can add it to your wish list. Uh, so without further ado, I think I'm going to do David's first. Listen, Doc, I don't need a reason to be scared of horses. They are big, moody, and can kick your teeth in. I saw plenty of that firsthand when the, when the plants just uh, stopped. And when we just had to sell something. After a while, we, we just had to eat something. The cows were easy to deal with, first to go. The hogs were a bit harder. But the horses, it's, it's like they knew. Couldn't get them to go willingly. Ended up having to do them right in the barn. Now, you know how many people it takes to carry a dead horse a hundred yards in the slaughterhouse? Well, I do. So that's from session 14. Listen. Uh, the Pony Factory, subject 000111. Winston thought he could <clears throat> use hell energy to create magical ponies. Winston was wrong. Left click to shoot, R to reload. Right click to switch to flashlight. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, blop. Blop. Now I think it loads up in a different launcher. Yeah. So let's... Bro, I love it. I like I love like the whiny like like theremin that is that what it's called sound? Or like invaders from another planet. That kind of shit. I love it. Other modes. Uh see so read me. Better in casual. Lights out. Iron horse. Alright, let's just do big Oh. Uh Winston arrived at a solution to the moral decay of his town. He called out to Hell in a secret candlelit room one evening, and Hell answered him. The human body could uh wait, the human body could. 
Hell promised, be twisted, stretched, and broken into a kinder, more equine shape. The human heart molded into something less human. Winston's town, now filled with the cruel and the ignorant, could instead be filled with magic ponies. If he could provide a factory in which to make them, Winston thought they could be beautiful, gentle, and good. Hell had other plans. Oh, bro. I'm really excited to have David like make another like straight up horror game. Cause what was the last one he that you did that was just straight up horror? I'm talking as if he's gonna be watching this. I hope he does. Uh, like a wolf in autumn. Was that the last one that was just straight up horror? And I love the black and white aesthetic. Like, this looks dope. This looks scary as shit. How do I... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the... So, I have a, I have a flashlight on. Okay. That's not like a pigu. Squealy pig. Uh, look for unlocked door to complete each area. Okay. Oh, sweet. I did it. <laughs> All left uh, to fire the bolt gun. R to reload. Keep on the lookout for more ammo pickups. Okay. What was... Sweet. Oh, chunky. Delicious. Maybe I don't have a flashlight yet. It's kind of dark, but man, the gun sound, of course, after dusk and a medieval and stuff. And maximum action. Shift to slowly walk. Okay. Yeah, no, no surprise the gunplay feels really, really good. Uh... And the sound, the doof doof doof, was very thick. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. It's had some, like, heft to it. Ammo full, okay. Oh god. It is so dark. It gets regain lost health. What are they? Oh, these. Squish. I love it. They could be magical ponies. What a weird idea for a game, too. Okay, each hit is 20 HP. Uh, here, hold on. Is there a flashlight that I just mess up? Yeah, because I'm holding... Uh, I'm hitting everything I can to turn a flashlight on. Oh. Okay, let's go this way. Are you my flashlight? Yes! Okay. Okay. Uh, if you're running low, you can backtrack, search for hidden health and ammo. I'm good. I'm good, I'm gonna leave. Ooh, that's a fast swap too. That's nice. Okay, take that. So good. I love solid gunplay and like the sound effects go with it. Okay, I'll need to collect a bone or anything. Day whatever quarantine. About to risk it all. Oh, shit! I thought I killed it. Fuck! I tried to... I tried to shoot it with my flashlight. <laughs> Oh, 
fucking. Yee! No. Whoa! Is that a magic pony? That is like an actual magic pony. He was casting like magic missile and shit at me. Uh. Whoa, magic pony. <laughs> this is creepy. I'm, I'm digging this. I've seen screenshots of some other games that I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do the entire collection, but like, there are certain games I'm gonna be playing first. Like, uh. Whoa, no! Damn. Uh, the one by Torpal Duke? I keep wanting to call him Torpal Dork. I think it's Torpal Duke. Looks really cute and scary. Airdorf, his looks amazing. It's like a old school, like, tiger handheld style gaming system. Are you my door? I think you are. Ammo full. Okay. I love the wall texture as well. Where's that theremin? Where is it? Where is it? I really hope I'm calling it the right name. Ammo full. Alright. And like, I want to pick up hammer, like. Try to run away from me. Are you the door? Okay, no, you're locked. God damn it. Here, is he gonna teleport near me? Hello? Oh, he's squishy! Whoa! Okay. like the magic ponies. So is this the factory? Is this L... I wish I knew Spanish, God. I love it. I love it. Uh, use cover to avoid projectiles. Okay. Oh, come on. I was definitely mine cover. I was most deaf. Oh, boy. I need a medkit. There's one right in front of me. Whoop! Where are you at, ABs? Okay. I can kind of see him when I shoot over there. Oh my god, there's so many of them back there. Okay, there's one more. Let's go ahead and heal. This looks awesome. I'm gonna I definitely have to use a uh, flashing lights warning at the beginning. Where are you? Fight me, coward. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, getting low on ammo. Ooh, yeah, baby. Shit. That hurt. Uh. Let's see, I see you. Well, so how you doing, everybody? Doing well? I'm doing well. I'm really excited for this collection. Uh, hey, hi! Damn it. I'm getting low on ammo. Oh, hey. There we go. Delicious. Okay. Whoop. Ow. 
Emma, please. Emma, please. Yee! Ah, ah. <laughs> Little cuties, come here. Where are you at? I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I like how they run up on me. It's not nice. Okay. I feel like I saw ammo down there somewhere. Oh well. Uh. Hello? Where are all my ponies at? Oh, this must be exit-ish? Anything under the stairs? No? Okay. Oh god, that metal thing right there scared the crap out of me. Long ass hallway. Uh. Okay. This game is very aesthetically pleasing. You're not my door. All right. Let's go down the long ass hallway. Oh, okay. Never mind. Death! Come around the corner, please. Oh shit, you are huge! Ow. God damn, he a big boy. Big ass pony. Uh. Okay, I guess I can't pick that up. My health is getting low and I don't like it. Pony boy? Yeah! You're so big! That's what she said! Okay, good. I was gonna say like, that was just like a, a pony hallway. Ooh, this is a big ass room. I smell boss fight. <laughs> boss fight? Oh, no, no. Oh, color. Uh oh. Uh, it's like a, like a fucking shift. <laughs> to see things in color. Oh, I missed it. Oh, nope. Here's some more. And that looks dope. That looks fucking good. Red means scary. Let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh no! I'm in like the meatpacking place. Uh, the thing you seek lies at the heart of the pony maker. Oh. I keep kind of forgetting that these are like the citizens of the town that we lived in as well. We've turned them into ponies. Okay, you're locked. Alright, so I think I have to go. Yeah, let's go this way. No, wait. One, there a different room. Or is this the beginning? I think this is the beginning. Yeah, okay. I got turned around for a second. All right, I guess it's going through the pony maker. Am I gonna turn myself into a pony? Oh God, I don't wanna walk through this shit. Are you serious? Is what you've been searching for. Take it. Uh. You've come what you, uh, you have what you came for. Now escape. I feel like I'm about to be like Blair Witched. Or something. Speaking of which. 
I think if David made a Blair Witch game, that'd be fucking dope. Doperino. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Solo on health. Uh. I'm gonna be more careful with these goddamn ponies. Don't run up on me. I don't like it. Hello? Ooh, now there's lights everywhere. Fifteen health. Uh, no. Okay. Ah, big boy. You are dead. Press E. Ah. Okay, okay so it spawned me back here. That's fine. I just gotta be careful. Where are you pony boys? There's one like down here. Look at this idiot. One down. Okay. Wasn't there one in this room? There was one on the stairs, like right up here. Is that the only one that pops up on the stairs? I think so. Doggo. Fuck. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I wish they were doing the Naruto run. Hand, hand behind the back. Just sprint in full speed. I feel like there's a lot more ammo than last time I was here. Where? I don't know where the other the <laughs> Jesus. Like, I want to go out there because I want to get torn apart, but at the same time. Okay, dead. Uh. Boom. Squishy. Okay. Actually, didn't go this way last time. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Give me pickaxe. Give me saw blade. Like it'd be awesome if I could like combine different items with the gun. Okay, I only have 25 HP. Okay. Anything hidden down there? Okay, now I'm back to 75. It's so aesthetically different as soon as there's color. That's wild. Okay, so far so good. Last time there were shooty boys in there. Yay, it's back. Uh, 
Oh, on both sides, huh? Give me from the front and the back. Hallelujah. Look at him go! Oh. I was having a moment. It looked really cool when he's running back and forth from the window. Like, this lighting is incredible. And, like, I love this look. I'm just, I'm just really impressed. This has already set, like, a very high bar for the rest of the games. Hi. So cute. Hi, please don't run up on me. Ow. Okay. Fuck you. This ooky spooky. Alien, alien Invader music is just getting me. I love it. Oof. I think I was gonna get them down fast enough. Okay. Ooh, blue. See, this is how this is kind of like PT. Like, we're going through the same hallways again, I guess. <laughs> Except everything's, like, progressively getting... ...ooky spookier, I guess. Hey! How did that hit me? I was behind... ...a cabinet. Oh no, the ponies got hungry. Uh... Thank you for the ammo. I need health, please. I also kind of wish this had, uh, like, an E and Q head bob. So I could look around walls. That'd be nice. Okay. I'm, like, trying to stay around the corners. I didn't see that little dude. Oh, he's just chewing on his little bone. Minding his own business. Little pony never will hurt nobody. See, give me the pickaxe. That scared me. Ow. Wood. It's so good. Oh, what? Uh, I'm tempted. I'm temp- I'm real tempted. Let's try it. We'll see. You're okay. Okay, you have to. <laughs> you can't fault me for trying. Like, what else do I expect other than to die? Well, maybe like I would have found like a secret or something. I like secrets. I like sneaky secrets. I call them sneakrets. Okay. I'm almost on full health. Let's go this way. I'm gonna save that med kit just in case something bad happens. In case a random pony bite. Fuck. Random pony bite. Oh, shit. 
only have 10 bullets left. Eh. Oh no. Okay, never mind. We good. Reload that. Is there anything back there? Uh, hmm. All right, let's go this way. Nope, that's wrong. Oh boy. <laughs> Sound like a pug. <laughs> Are you sure these aren't these aren't like these giant angry pugs? I like how some of them do all of them have horns? And when this is the first hallway? Guess not. Maybe this is. Jerk! I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like kind of turning back in on myself. Ow. Oh, I'm out of ammo. And I can't sprint. Uh. Okay. I need a med kit, please. Oh, here we go. Thanks. Say please. <laughs> Have manners. And the game delivers. Don't run. Okay, what were you protecting? Nothing? <sighs> what a jerk. Are you the exit? Did I make it? Did I did I find the, the the magical element that made the ponies? Did I stop the pony machine? The man smiled as he walked through the abandoned parking lot away from the pony factory. He'd found and stolen the source of the pony magic and escaped with his life. He'd done what others thought impossible. And now he would succeed where his father failed with the power of hell at his fingertips. He could create his own pony army, far larger and greater. All he needed were victims to transform and a factory in which to do it. Hell had planned all of this and it smiled too in anticipation for what was to come. So what's... Let's do Iron Horse. Really quick. Like... Is this just gonna be like super freaking difficult? Let's run and grab my gun and flashlight really quick. I never even thought that like I was the son of the pony factory guy. I thought I was, you know. I thought I was a good boy. Nani? Blop. Okay. So let's just see how hard this is. Uh. Okay. So far, that's fine. No. I'm not gonna hold shift to do nothing. Let's speed run this. Now here, let me see what is different about Iron Horse. Uh 
Oh, got it. Okay, so it's one hit and you're dead. Got it, okay. On that note, I think if I... Here, let's close this and relaunch it. I'm talking about the Dread X collection. I think now whenever I relaunch the game, it'll show me that I've completed uh, Pony Factory. Oh, no, it didn't. Bummer. Yeah, it's supposed to have, like, scratches through it. So here, I'll, I'm will i going to message the dev and see what happened. Uh, but yeah, so that was the first game out of ten. I'm going to be doing a game a day over the next few days. Uh, I might be doing, like, two on a certain day. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I kind of want to do the Dice Dev team. Dice, oh my god, Scythe Dev team. Or the uh, Turple Duke. We'll see. Yeah. I hope you guys liked it. I really, really enjoyed that. David, fantastic job. Brilliant. I liked it a lot. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks, everybody.